Welcome back to the financial modeling course. And in this lesson, we'll be modeling the hedging gain or losses in our mining operations. To model the hedging gain or losses, we will need the forward gold price. And we already got the forward gold price on the input S worksheet. And you can see that the forward price is slightly higher than the spot price, which is typically the case for precious metals. We will also need the volume of the gold that we want to hedge. And according to the case study, we want to hedge 30% of the spot volume. And then, based on the gold volume that we hedged, and the difference between the forward and spot prices, we will calculate the hedging gain or losses. In this case, we will be forecasting a gain, because we are expecting the spot price to be below the forward price. So, we will need to bring the forward gold price from the input S worksheet. And to do that, we will need the operation period counter. The operation period counter we could take from row 194. So let's copy the whole row. And let's paste it to row 344. And to bring the forward gold price from the input S worksheet, we'll use the lookup function. So look up. The lookup value will be the operation period counter. And the lookup vector will come from the input S worksheet. And the lookup vector is the operation period counter in row 37. It will have to fully anchor the range. The result vector will be the forward gold price in row 38. Again, fully anchor the range. As always, we've got an error here, and we'll use the if error function to get rid of the error. The hedging volume is 30% according to the case study. It will need to bring the spot volume, which we can bring from the revenue section. We could take it from row 200. So, copy the whole row. And let's paste it to row 348. And the hedging volume will be the spot volume times the hedging volume percentage that we got in the cell E347. Anchor it. We've got the required inputs to calculate the hedging gain or losses. And first, we will need the operation period flag because we want to calculate the hedging gain or losses only during the operation periods. The operation period flag we can bring from the operating costs section. We've got it in row 278. So let's copy the whole row. And let's paste it to row 351. Now let's bring the forward gold price that we've just modeled in row 345. Copy the cell D345 and paste the link to the cell D352. Next, we will need the gold spot price, and we can get it from the revenue section. We could take it from row 199. Let's copy the cell D199. And let's paste a link to cell D353. Next, we will need the hedging volume and we could take it from row 349. Copy the cell D349 and paste the link to the cell D354.
and the formula to calculate the hedging gain or losses will be the difference between the forward gold price and the spot price, times the hedging volume, and times the operations period flag. The hedging gain or losses will go to the income statement and the cash flow statement. Let's color row 355 red. Copy the cell D355. Let's go to the financial statement. And let's paste the link to the cell D18. Now, let's link the hedging gain or losses to the cash flow statement.